<laughs> I could be catfishing somewhere. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Curve Card. Welcome back to the Good Skin Channel. I just want to say to all my new subbies, thank you so much for being here. And I just want to say thank you to my friend Kat for having done that collab with me because I feel like all her nice people, all her nice people are like over on my channel. And I'm like so grateful for you guys for being here. I am so happy to have you here. So today I'm doing my foundation routine and this is something that people have asked me a lot. And I know that being said that no one ever asks beauty bloggers for anything and we like people ask me. But actually guys, when I'm walking around, people actually do ask me, how do you do this? How do you achieve this look? How is it that you get to look so nice and natural every time you put on your makeup? So today I am giving you some tips and some tricks on what is it that I do to achieve these kind of looks. To look like myself to look at me while i've covered up enough and i've done enough just to you know look presentable like i'd love to see my videos being shared with people because i feel like i give such good tips easy tips like it's so super easy like you can do it even in your sleep i'm feeling so cute right now i can't even focus on this game show <laughs> If you like my channel please subscribe like and share i'm on facebook i'm on instagram i'm on twitter where am i and youtube yeah, I'm on all those places and then if you're looking for me like there's no way you can say that you couldn't find me because I'm so excited to be making content regularly like this. So guys, thank you so much for being here. Enjoy the video. Ta -ta. So today I'm talking about my foundation routine. Guys, I have super uneven skin tone. Like it's it's actually gotten me to play around a lot of my foundations to actually come up with the right um, a shade for myself because I am like a caramel but I'm on some parts of my body I'm like a cocoa and then the other issue is that even if I get it right on my face my neck is still dark I've got a lot of discoloration around my mouth and a lot of hyperpigmentation um, uh, sunburns of course and um, it's very hard for me to walk into a store find a shade that's right for me and works for me and everything because you know it's just very rough. I've had to play around with my foundations quite a bit to actually come up with the right shade for my skin. Before anything, I just want to say to you that I've applied moisturizer, I have applied sunscreen, and then yes, what comes next is definitely primer. Now for me, my primer, it really depends on what time of the day that it is. Um, if it's in the evening, I want to look dewy, I want to look nice and fresh. If it's during the day, then I definitely want to have a kind of like a matte type of look so I don't conceal it sometimes and I also don't do really a lot of color correction and usually when I do color correction I work with this um, this one is from MAC and this is the um, Pro Conceal and Correct palette which is like one of my favorite and it's got all these colors in it and I tried playing around with that orange concealer guys uh, it wasn't a good idea for me because I didn't know how to blend it out properly so maybe with time I'll learn how to blend my concealer properly so I usually stick to my skin like tones and also mix it with something a bit dark so this top two here would be like my favorite concealer so I'll mix it just a little bit to conceal or I'll use just that to conceal my spots and stuff but I'm not concealing today so I'm actually literally going to go on and just apply my foundations. So when I go into the shops, these are the foundations I'm shown to be my true shade. So they say it's MAC NC50, which is that one. Or they would say in uh, for Estee Lauder, uh, they would say uh, Double Wear, they would give me Amber Honey, which is very beautiful foundation so I get to mix a few of my darker foundations like this one is um, Coco um, by NYX and I get to mix this one into my foundation just to make sure that I have a nice even coverage also that goes with my neck because my neck is, is really dark you know and then my chest then goes back to like the skin color on my teaser and it's that's what makes it so complicated to buy foundations for me 
because of that. So I applied these foundations without mixing. So there is this one from LA Girl Pro Cartridge and this one is in coffee. So usually when I apply the coffee, I don't have to mix. And then this is True Color by uh, Black Opal, which can give me also issues with color. And then I also get to mix it sometimes, my darker foundations. And then my true, 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 true perfect foundation is actually from L'Oreal. And this one is Infallible 24 Hour Matte. I'm actually holding it the other way. 24 Hour Matte. And this one, the color is Cappuccino. So the Cappuccino from L'Oreal is my is my perfect match and then the coverage is high and the texture is medium so skin like finish and i like this this is like my favorite no matter where i go i'm gonna put on this foundation i'm still to try the fancy beauty foundations to see if my girl riri did come up with my shade um guys i'm sorry but sometimes you see me just pop my eyes up there because i want to look okay I want to see myself. Guys, if you've been following me for a long time on YouTube, you know this brush was broken and you've been telling me, just glue it, just glue it. Yes, I finally glued it. This is from Switch Beauty and it's um, the Total Buffer. Guys, I don't feel like I've got any foundation brush that applies my foundation like this brush. Like, I love, love, love it. I love the bristles. I love everything about this brush. Um, my foundation glides on very well. It's nice to hold. Like, I just love this brush. I also have my beauty blenders. So this one is from Real Techniques. So what I do is, if I want like a very nice dewy type of makeup, then I go and make this down. But if I want like a matte makeup, then this stays nice and dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime with this Lady Skin by Maybelline. Um, this is this one is an instant pore eraser because I've got pores the size of Iceland. Apply some of this. And I like like that instant eraser effect. So nice, it feels good when it glides onto skin. So I'm gonna apply that. I'm applying it everywhere because there's gonna be foundation like everywhere. Okay. Guys, have you ever noticed that when you do your makeup very fast, like you're in a rush, it always comes out more cute than when you have time to actually do the makeup? I don't know why that is. So I'm gonna take my MAC NC15. I'm gonna apply this on my hyperpigmentation, right? You can see that's the kind of coverage I get. It looks so different in the camera, it's so different in the mirror. And then I'm gonna take something darker, like my Infallible by L'Oreal, and then I'm gonna apply it right here. Can you see that this coverage is more me than this coverage? Because this for me looks too light. It looks like um, highlight, like concealer to highlight than this. So this for me makes much more sense than this. And like sometimes if I apply the NC50 on its own on my face, it looks like I have a mask on literally. And I just don't like that look. I absolutely don't. I basically bought this um, Coco by NYX to basically just darken my foundation. So I'm gonna mix this one by MAC, the NC50, and I'm gonna mix this to make my actual skin color. Even though I've got all these hyperpigmentation issues, I really honestly don't go crazy with my uh, concealers and covering up, because, you know, I don't believe in perfection, and sometimes I want my mold and my, like my imperfection to come through, and that's what actually makes you guys think that this is actually my skin, you know? because I do that. So that's the difference in color between the two foundations. And then I'm just gonna mix that up and make that color, which is basically my color. And then I'm just gonna put that all over my face. Especially down here, because that's where I have most of my spots. And then I'm gonna take my, my foundation brush and I'm just gonna work the skin. So you see, I don't wanna cover up all my mold and like hide them, no, no, no. They are part of my skin and I want them to be there. So that's the kind of coverage I like. And I'm not doing that. I'm doing this because again, I have large pores and um, I'm trying to hide those. And I'm gonna also put this on my eyes so that I have like one nice even coverage. So when it comes to makeup, it's really doing what works for you. And not all of us have the same skin tone. Like sometimes there are people 
who are lucky enough to walk into a makeup store and find the foundation shade immediately. But some of us actually struggle with this. This is how I make my foundations work. And then, of course, I'm gonna still work this in with my beauty blender because I don't want, I want it to be unobvious if that word even exists, but I have foundation on, okay? I want it to look like it's just me, 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 me. me. So I'm just gonna apply this. I gotta mix these foundations together. I gotta mix these foundations together. I gotta mix uh, either these two or I mix these two together. It's like the dark, like it's, it's for me, even if I don't want like a very matte type of foundation look, I can mix a dewy one and a matte one because I know that my skin, the way it's set up, the oiliness that it's set up with, I cannot just be walking around with foundation that's not matte. Another foundation that I like is this mousse foundation by, um, uh, this is Essence. And I took it, uh, this color is matte caramel. And I like it because it does have like a, almost like my skin color finish, but I still kind of mix it sometimes when I want to. And what I like about this one is that it's very soft. It's a very soft foundation. Sometimes it doesn't even feel like it's there on my skin. And that's what I like about it. And um, I like to use this in the evenings for that dewy, dewy type of look with my dewy, dewy type of primer. This is how I do foundation, guys. For everybody that wanted to know. So what's my next step after this? I think maybe I should just complete the look so that you guys can see. I'm gonna use Pro Conceal by Any Girl. The part of my face that I want to bring attention to. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna conceal under my eyes. So I don't take my concealer out because I have a chubby face, right? And I'm trying to make my face look long and not wide. Do you get what I mean? So I do triangles underneath my, my, my eyes. I also kind of do a little bit of here. My nose here, it's really, really flat, so I don't put anything there. I avoid there, and then I just do here. And then this as well, because I'm gonna contour underneath my chin, and underneath my chin is like, you know, I'm chubby. It's underneath my chin. So I'm gonna put this like this. I think I'm gonna wear my beauty blender for this because I want this to blend out nice. But I'm not blending it out, I'm blending it, blending it down. And because it's wet, it's fit, sitting very nicely into my skin. So it's like melting butter into butter. <laughs> and then what I do not to have those uh, harsh lines, I just take my foundation brush and just brush through again. Just not to make it also obvious. We don't like obvious makeup, remember? We don't like very obvious makeup. And then to finish this all off and like seal everything so that I can be like. <laughs> I am going to set my face with the Super Stay 24 by uh, Maybelline. And this is matte. And this is my foundation routine. This is how I get to look the way that I look out there and you're like, oh my gosh, is that your skin? Well, I'm fooling all of you guys. I'm fooling y'all and you think that it's my skin. Well, it's just my foundation. Guys, this is it for my foundation routine. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe, like and share. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter. Where am I? Smile? So this is what my foundation looks like without all the lights because sometimes I feel like the lights can kind of give like a false finish.